Hello everyone, thank you so much for being on this Unreal Engine tutorial that will showcase the process of creating and adding an moving actor to your scene in UE4. This process is pretty straightforward, but if you're a starting practitioner of Unreal Engine, you probably feel a bit overwhelmed by the process of creating anything through blueprints. This will do the very same thing and add a simple moving object to your scene that will be something that starts its journey from point A, goes to point B, goes back to point A and does that throughout your game, throughout the sequence of the level, no matter how long does it last. So to do that, we first need to create a new blueprint. I'm going to do that in a additional folder that I'm going to call square and here I'll create a blueprint for a moving square more precisely a cube that simply exists in the level and moves from point A to point B and does that indefinitely so here is my folder in my content and now I'm going to add a blueprint class that will be an actor. I'm going to call it again, let's call it a cube better yet. And I have my blueprint class that's completely blank but I'm going to fill it up and turn it into a moving actor. First thing I'll do is to actually skin this cross point, make it something tangible and that will be a cube. So that is going to be in the basic shapes. Here it is. I'm going to scale it down a bit later on. Right now, I can do it immediately. All right, here's a cube. And <laughs> I'm going to rename it and call it cube. The next thing, now that we have this basic shape, is to actually add a controller that will define how the same cube moves. We're going to do that by adding an element called interp interpret movement, but you'll find it via searching interpret to movement. And here it is. This is the actual controller. And from here on out, I need to define the two spots that will be the variables in the whole system of the level from which the same cube moves. That we are going to do through the addition of variables. And I'm going to create a variable called A, which will be instance editable, so I can change it in the level, exposed on spawn, and it's going to be a vector, not a boolean. And I'm going to add also show this 3D widget box as well. And I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to call it B, which should also be instance editable, shown 3D widget and exposed on spawn. Now with these two, I should set the interpret to movement elements first of all of behavior which is ping pong i'm going to choose the option of ping pong which means going from a to b a to b and i'm also going to add control points that will be two control points zero and one zero for a one for b i'm going to compile and save from here on out I can move to the construction script. First, I'm going to add the interpret to movement node. From it, I'm going to add a set control points node, which connects to the interpret to movement and the construction script connects to it in turn. From here, from this control points node, I'm going to add an array or make array node. And here, each of these pins, I have right now one 
uh, control point on the array represents will represent one variable so I'm going to add another one and from here on out I need to connect this with each of the variables to do that I'm going to extend this and use under utilities make interp control point this is the control point for the first variable which is a and I'm going to connect it here and now I should do the same for point B again here it is and here is the connection to point B and right now we in theory have the same movement ready to go I'll add an additional part here which is the duration or how long does the same movement last through this option which is adding duration set duration node and I adding another variable that I'm going to call duration which won't be a vector but will be a float change variable type and the same variable should be connected to duration finally I need to connect the set duration to interrupt to movement and my script should be ready and my blueprint should be ready as well now with the whole process of creating this blueprint finalized and finished let's uh, use it in the scene I'm going to drag and drop it here and I'm going to set the first of my locations which is a at the very spot and move B to the side and let's see how does that look in the game so they are doing what they're supposed to be doing which is moving from A to B but the speed at which they're doing the same is incredibly high so let's take duration and edit it so I'm here and let's find duration here it is and it's zero presently so let's put it to like six and let's see it now and here it is the same cube is taking its journey from one point to the other going back and forth and of course every other preset element like reflections and everything else is already in the same blueprint and you have your moving cube and it's going through me because the colliders are not set but it is doing what it is supposed to be doing which is creating this journey in a loop kind of manner so you saw it that is the process of creating a very simple moving actor hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it something that you can use in your own projects if you did i would love to hear from you in the comment section below or you can simply leave a like don't forget if you're a beginner in unreal legend i would appreciate if you subscribe and check out my new videos on the same subject that's all for this video thank you so much for watching my name is Ivica and have loads of fun in your unreal engine projects bye bye